This is my EV motorcycle project powertrain, basically. What we got here is a Motenergy ME1507, Sevcon controller, Gen 4, size 6. This is just a uh, bench testing box. As you can see, I got controller power, forward, reverse, seat, and throttle rigged up on it. It's just a 5K potentiometer. I'm making 114 volts using two Ego battery packs for my lawn equipment. And this is a contactor because the controller can sense when there's a load on the two contractor lines and it wasn't working. So this is just a contactor for an air conditioner. I didn't have one for an EV yet, but it works. And then the wiring harness I got a few years ago from a guy named Frotus on uh, the e-bike forums, one of the, some of the e-motorcycle forums. He wired it all up for me. It's set up for the encoders, a sine cosine. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my wife to hold the camera and then show you how it works. Okay, first things first. 100, 114 volts, I think it was, 113, 112 now at the battery pack. So the way these controllers work is you need the seat switch engaged, the throttle has to be at zero, and the position, either forward or reverse, that also has to be in the middle when you turn it on. So basically, you turn the controller power on, this is gonna send the battery pack voltage to the controller, basically like the key switch. The contactor clicks, that engages the pack voltage to the controller, then at that point, you want to go forward or reverse, just forward, and turn the potentiometer a little bit. There's no load, so it spins really, really fast, just barely touching the thing. As you can see, counterclockwise rotation there. Forward to reverse. A little bit of throttle. Clockwise rotation. And the reason this little light is flashing seven times is because I'm sending 112 volts to the battery to the controller and it should only be getting 100 because that's what it's designed for and programmed for. Kill it. Contactor turned off power to the pack. Good to go.